Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're gonna to talk about scaling. So I said scaling, not quite as simple as like just using the scaling tool. What I'm actually talking about is going in and taking something and making it a specific size, like an exact scale. So uh, not necessarily like make it bigger, just make it smaller, 50% the size it was. Like if I wanna make something exactly a specific dimension, a specific scale, we'll take a look at how to do that right now. All right, so as with most things in SketchUp, there's a couple different ways I could go about this. So here I have some rulers. I chose rulers because they have to be a specific size uh, based on what's here. You can see they're very, very big, right? So this is supposed to be 150 millimeters. I'm not a metric guy, as you know, but I will say that I'm pretty sure 150 millimeters is nowhere near this big. So these are obviously modeled very large. So we've talked about this on some other videos. There are cases, we, we in general with SketchUp, if we're doing like an architectural model, we do recommend modeling full size. It's the easiest way to go about it, but there are situations where you might model larger or smaller than full size. So if I have something that's real small with a lot of small, small detail, uh, I might have to scale up when I model. So that looks like these were maybe modeled extra large to uh, allow for a bunch of small detail, little tick marks, that kind of stuff. The other thing would be if I was modeling something super big, I might have to bring it down. So if I wanted to, you know, I don't know, model a planet or something, I might model that much smaller than it is. Regardless, if I ever model something outside of the standard size, and those of you who watch our live models may know that I tend to hop in and just start modeling to get my shapes in, and I don't worry about specific sizes sometimes until later on, uh, there may be a point where you have to scale something or, or change the size of it. So I have a couple different rulers here. So the one at the top, you can see goes from zero all the way up to 150. This is 140 plus there's 10 tick marks, 150 millimeters. Now there is a scale command and we have a scale command for a reason, to scale things. That's right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna select it on the outside. You see I'm on the outside of the component. If I double click, I can come in here and then I actually have some the tick marks, the numbers, the geometry are all separate. I'm gonna select it on the outside of that, so the, the outside container, and I'm gonna click on scale. All right, so with scale, you have all these sets of handles, right? So I can, I can go in and I can scale, and we've done, again, this is in, we have a, a square one video for the scale tool. It's super simple how it works. A lot of times when we use scale, we do percentages. So if I grab a, a, a corner like this, I start to scale it down and say, I wanna to go to like 0.5. You can see down there in the scale in the corner right there, it's scaling down and I could type in 0.5, it would make it half as big, or I could type two, which would make it twice as big. But what we want is a specific scale. We want from the end to end to be 150 millimeters. So what I would do in that case is I grab this middle one. See, it's, it's really important that I grab the middle one because what I want to tell it is from that opposite handle to this handle is exactly 150 millimeters. So I'm going to click and start dragging this. Now, I don't want to squish it and make it 150 millimeters. So I'm going to tap the modifier key to keep this scaled. So in this case, it is shift. So if I hold shift, I'm dragging down like this and I'm going to release it. And then I'm gonna type the exact scale I want. I want that to be 150 millimeters. So 150mm, enter. And there it goes, little teeny tiny. Now that is from this side to this side, 150 millimeters or just under six inches. So that works great for this one. <laughs> Look how small that is. Look how big this is. So obviously this one's gonna be an issue, right? If I take this and I go, all right, scale it down, and we're gonna go this way, do the exact same thing, shift, scale that direction, and type 150 millimeters. All right, what happens with that? Well, it scaled it down. Now my things are like really far apart, so let's grab, let's grab this guy right here. Let's go move him over here, and you'll see right away, end to end, they're the same. See that? So let's grab this guy right by the end, and we'll put it right up next to this one and 
end to end, they're exactly the same, which means something's not right here, right? Because this is not 150 millimeters. This is 150 millimeters plus whatever this is, 20 something more millimeters out here to the end. So that's not gonna work in this case. This is wrong. So let's look out here. We have one more. I wanna scale this so that it is 150 millimeters from the end of the ruler to this mark without having to mess with what's over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click. That's gonna open up the ruler. So I'm in now, this is where I had, like I said, these different, these different groups that have this other stuff in here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my tape measure tool, not scale, but tape measure. And I'm gonna go from this corner, zoom in here, get that corner, and I'm gonna click to, so right now, uh, I'm gonna to come to right there, and I'm gonna click right there. And it did give me, see it gave me that, that, uh, that guide there. Uh, I'm gonna hit Command Z. Um, actually, I'm gonna back up one more step. This is a copy of this component that I scaled. So I'm gonna go ahead, right click and say, make unique. So that's gonna say that uh, if I make a change here, it's not gonna mess with this little guy I have up here either. So by making it unique, I did that. And then I'm gonna go, all right, one more time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to down here, I have the option of, I can click option, I'm on Mac, so option to toggle create guides. If I tap option once, see a little plus goes away, plus says make a guide. Without the guide, I'm just in tape measure mode. And I'm gonna click here, and I'm gonna click right here, and then type 150 mm and hit enter. That's gonna come up and say, do you want to resize the active group? That's the group I'm in, I'm gonna hit yes. Ooh, it got small. Let's check it out. Let's zoom in here. Yeah, that looks like it could be right. So if I go from here to here, yeah, just about six inches. And if I go grab, oh, really got to zoom out. I'm gonna grab both these, and just bring them down here closer. Where is it? There we are. Whew. All right, so if I grab this one, not the one I know is wrong. I'm not gonna, I'm gonna kind of abandon that. But if I grab this one, grab it by the corner, and then, oops, grab it by the corner. Put that right up here. What I should see is my marks. Oh, I grabbed the wrong one. That's the one I didn't want. Let's grab this one. <laughs> Second try is a charm. That's what they say. All right, so if I grab, grab this one right next to this one, I should see my marks lining up all the way down. Even though I scaled them two different ways, this guy was scaled with the scale command and this one with the tape measure. So depending on the content you have to scale, there's different ways to go about it. Um, the general rule of thumb is that container, the outside geometry. When you hit scale, it's gonna say, okay, absolute outside, these, this is what I'm resizing. If that outside geometry can be brought to a specific dimension, then go ahead and use scale. If not, if you're scaling about some intermediate geometry that falls inside that container, then you want to use the tape measure and specify a span across there. Generally speaking, I say grab the biggest span you can and scale it. Uh, if we go real small, that's where maybe rounding and that kind of thing, like fractional increments may end up causing a problem and you'd be a little bit off. So usually, I usually scale the biggest thing that I know for a fact is correct. Uh, and well, there we go. So uh, yeah, hopefully that works for you. Uh, let me know if that scaling works for you. If you have a different way of scaling, I love to hear that too. Put it in the comments down below. Let me know how you like to scale. And uh, if you haven't done this before, let me know that too. Let me know this worked out for you. And you know, while you're clicking around, go ahead and like, subscribe, share this with somebody. I uh, really appreciate when you get a chance to do that. Uh, and in the comments, if you are leaving a comment, let me know about some other ideas of things you might have. What are some modeling techniques you've wondered about or something that you found that you thought were good and you want to share with other people? We like making these videos a lot. We like them even more when it's showing something you want to see. Thank you.